Hey you two, another you two orbit day today and I was just getting ready to take this. Hold on. Oh you can't see it. There's a skunk out there. This has gotta be one of the dumbest things to do with. Let's sneak up on the skunk. Try to There it is. I heard it. There it is. Hey skunk. Okay. There's a skunk. Let's not get close to it because it'll spray us. It's got its tail up. It's kind of cornered. Hey skunk. Hey. So this isn't even what the video was going to be about. Hey skunk. Come on buddy. But the guy was behind me when I was getting ready to start, so I thought, hey, let's go chase down the live skunk. Hey, buddy. How you doing? It's kind of stinky. Now, I definitely don't want to get close to it, but it'd be nice if it would come out. I think it's England. It's asked for me. Hey, there it is. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Hi! Well, thankfully it's not a badger. Stay away from its butthole. How you doing, man? Hi, guy. Eh, live skunk. Oh, well, those aren't the worst creatures. Those are pretty docile creatures. The worst of ones are the raccoons. Because they are mean. Just as big, but mean. And they eat the cat food. I think the skunks will eat the cat food. But they tend to stay out here more. They don't travel in inside. Anyways, that is that has nothing to do with my YouTube orbit today. Today is the 24th. It is my 16th YouTube orbit, and uh, wow, Barnes & Noble released a new Nook, which is a, an e-ink reader. It's a six-inch screen with a touch screen, which I think is going to be pretty awesome. Um, e-ink is coming along very nicely. I like e-ink technology. It um, My favorite thing about it is that it's, what is, what is it, stateless? What do they call it? It needs no electricity to keep its current state, but um, it only takes electricity. Yeah, it only takes electricity when you change what's on the on the e ink, which is actually pretty cool. And it's 140 bucks, but I'm not gonna buy one because I have one already. I have the first Nook, huh? Well, I didn't want to make a very long YouTube orbit today. And chasing down that skunk kind of t took up my time. Wonderful uh, wildlife in my front yard. But I did want to show you this uh, 3D effect. My 3D effect today is looking at different layers of 3D depth as we scroll past it. I'm trying to keep the wind out of the mic. So what I have here is these bushes. I'm going to try and keep this camera stable. We see these bushes and then we see in the background we see a tree. So I'm just going to sidestep. And we get this other tree in front of us. 
So we get three definite layers of depth. And they all kind of move on their own layer. Which is actually a pretty cool effect. And uh, would work really well in chase scenes to uh, really take advantage of that kind of effect. At least I think so anyways. So yeah, this is my orbit for today. Got to chase down a skunk, unexpected. Yeah, <laughs> wildlife. Um, see you tomorrow, YouTube.